Devon State Governor Engineer Unwezi Dave Umaye has notified the PDP chieftains that he will be defecting to the ruling All Progressive Congress APC on Tuesday. The governor who is serving his second term as a PDP governor announced his defection at a national meeting with the People's Democratic Party National Chairman Chief Uche Secondus. Thereby, state governor who have been seen as one of the best in terms of infrastructural development is the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum. He has been in power since 2015. His defection doesn't come as a shock, as shocking news for some who believes that he has been with the ruling All Progressive Congress APC for a very long time, only that it wasn't official. Some also believe he made the defection because of his political ambition, although some also made mention of his political ambition heading for the rock as they are more loyalists already in the ruling party who are also vying for the same post. Hmm. And also, and some believe his political move is a form of betrayal to the People's Democratic Party, PDP. And some believe it is the best move for the Southeast governor and people of the Southeast. Okay? Just like uh, it's been said, it's not a uh, news because a lot of people have been saying it before now. And that means he has been, you know, he's, he has been involved in anti-party stuff. Well, whether PDP or APCO, they, none of them is ready to save the country as it is now. It is not by all this party. It is not that, it's not those who already believe in this kind of system that we are running or they are the one they are the ones running it. So whether PDP or APC, none of them has what it takes to make this country great. They are not ready to make this country great. They are ready to make, they are just ready to make themselves great to have a, to have an upper hand here and there. That's just all they are concerned about. They are not concerned about the masses. They are not concerned about the level of poverty, the level of illiteracy, the level of uh, degradation. They don't, they are not interested in that. They are just interested in them having power, having influence over poor people. That's just all they are looking for from A to Z, whether PDP or PAPC. They are the same. They are same, same. They don't have good plans in place. They don't have good plans on ground. They don't care about anybody. They care of they care about nobody. That's just the way it is. So let them continue to move. Until the masses themselves will have sense and know that these people are not ready for them. Unfortunately, of course, I don't even blame some people because the devil itself himself has fun. Unfortunately, you see a lot of people they will still follow him. Oh, this and that. And they have so much blinded a lot of people. A lot of people are not seen. A lot of people are not seen. The ones that are seen, they are trying to cover them up. They are trying to intimidate them. Well, someone say Igbo, Igbos are hypocrites. They don't know they are left or right, only following what their tribalistic and religious by God rely on them. <laughs> this is not issue of uh, Igbos and this, you know. It's all over the place. It's all over the place. It's only those who have already seen the whole thing that these people are just playing the people. They are playing with the minds of the people. So it's cut across board. I'm always talking about it cut across across board. We have a, all these uh, evil people in each region and in every state. They are there. They are there manipulating people. That is just the way it is. It has nothing to do with uh, any tribe. The people who the, the the set of people that we have in this country is the the so-called politicians and the masses. The masses that are already aware of the tricks that these politicians are playing. That is that are the kind of people we have. Umahi is the most selfish and confused imbecile ever. To me, he can. He's already a known. It's been known that definitely he's going to go. But uh, they've been denying it. Uh, he's been denying it. It's been, it has been a, has, has been in pipeline for a very long time. There's a saying in Yoruba proverb that the king they used to flog the first wife is waiting for the second wife. No comments. But come to think of it, why shouldn't PDP zone their ticket to Southeast? So if PDP felt that. South East is not good for president. Then, for a governor that really performed, the party that knows his value should pick him. Pick him simple. Let's go to the feed. The more people will continue to talk about these people, whether PDP or APC, they are not ready because you could see that they are lined together. How many of the governors did you hear that uh, criticize or condemn the the latest uh, 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 massacre? How many of them? No. 
Because at the end of the day, because they now they got to know that yes, the whole thing is not about uh, APC or PDP. That the masses are on their own, and they know that they are going to come for both of them. And a lot of people have been saying it. Both APC and PDP are the same. They are the same. The structure is already faulty, so they are always falling into that structure. So there's no way they are going to do anything differently. That's why it is easier for them to jump from one uh, from party A to party B. So it is not by uh, choosing anybody from South East or from South uh, West. The issue you that you are ask, they are talking, and that is it gets me. It gets into me when people talk about uh, the Igbos. They don't know how to play. It is that is not what we are talking about now. Tell me which region when you talk about region in this country. Let us even be sincere and let us be objective. Which region in this country you are going to tell me that their masses are doing well? They are doing tremendously well in terms of a, uh, in terms of a, uh, you know, talking about their. Their welfare, talking about their standard of living. Tell me that oh, it is as a result of all oh, because they have a they have a, 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 a people who are the top or they are part of the ruling party. Tell me, tell me, is it not the same poverty everywhere? Is it not the same illiteracy everywhere? Is it not? No, tell me which which state or which country has two four seven electricity? That oh, in their area you see that uh, the infrastructural project they have there is top notch or it is you know. It is, it is uh, what you can really record and modern day infrastructure. Tell me which which country, which state, let alone region. Tell me whether <laughs> honestly it is it's very unfortunate. Let me let's ask you again. You that you are always talking about, and that is you do you, because you don't want to put on your thinking cap. You are from the north. Tell me whether you are really enjoying as a person. Forget all these people who are getting position one position or the other. Forget all those who are getting position from the southeast, all those politicians, even in the southwest, south, 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 and middle bed. Tell me, tell me among the people that are doing well that everything is fine for them. Is it not the same thing from fry pan to fire? So, what are we talking about? You have we are fighting for these so called politicians, those are the people that will be getting all these positions. I, I put it to anybody, Fashola has a he at least this this time around in this uh, second term he has a uh, two two portfolios in the last term he has he had three portfolios that he was he was in charge of then tell me his position how has he better your life as, as somebody who uh, 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 just an ordinary person from the southwest tell me whether his position has, has helped you the vice president is from the southwest tell me whether his position has helped your business in the recent then not to talk about okay the overall where is the president tell me whether the masses in that place whether they are enjoying themselves forget all this uh, about one percent that are getting one position or the other so is that the kind of life you want to live even if an Igbo man gets this presidency today or be to be the president of nigeria today is it going to change anything in as much that they are, sh they are shuffling themselves between apc and pdp there's no there's no hope because they already have that a uh, they already have a this in the lay down rules that they must follow. They must follow it. So what are we talking about? It is it does it makes no meaning. If you are still in that school of, of thought of a oh yes, so oh, our people are there, forget it, you are just deceiving yourself. Must it be that oh yes, I know somebody, hey, I'm connected to this person. What of the people who are not connected to those people that you think you know? Then of what use is that country or that state? Must it be that you have to be connected? No, there must be. There, there, there must be quality at all levels. That's what we are talking about. You as a person that you want to go to, you, you would like to go to the UK, you would like to go to the US, you would like to go to Australia and Canada, you would like to go to Europe. Tell me, if you get there, do you have to know somebody before you can do the right thing? Before you be you enjoy yourself? Go and ask all the Nigerians that are in diaspora, whether because they say they, oh, they, they are... They are related to one of the politicians or they are related to one of uh, the leaders. That is why they are, they are, you know, they are living a comfortable life. We are not talking of, you know, having plenty of money, but a, a, com a comfortable life. Do you know anybody there? Why is it that we cannot do the same thing in our country? If you can go, even as a black, even you are from a different race, me looking at you, go to all those places that we, are, we have talked about. Nobody cares about you, but you do your thing. The most important, the only thing you owe them is just for you to be law-abiding. And that's it. Go there legally and be law abiding. You are you are good to go, but in can you say the same thing in our country? No. So what are we talking about? If a an Igbo man is not the is not the vice is not the prime minister of a, 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 a of UK, then why should you be bothered? If you go to the US, Donald Trump is not from the southwest. So what are we talking about? And you go there and you 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 at least you know what life is all about. 
just for us to have a, the basic amenities. They are not there. So what are we talking about? Just to even complain. You can't even complain in Nigeria in, in this dispensation as it is right now. So let them be moving from place to place. It makes no meaning. That is not what we are talking about. We should grow out of all this uh, uh, deceit from these uh, politicians. So, to me, let people continue to talk about, eh, hey, Igbo, they don't know how to do this. Oh, Yoruba, they are the ones doing... Are you not suffering? You are from the north. Are you not suffering? You are from the south. Are you not suffering? You are from the south. Southwest, are you not suffering? So, for what you use, I don't understand. You are just making excuse, excuses, you are just fighting for these politicians for them to get one position or the other. That is just all you are just basically doing, not because they want, they want to do a special thing for you. So, guys, let's hear your opinion, leave your comment below, and let's have your take on this.